Jeff Slauson here from 19 News Now at the 19 News Digital Desk. A uh, story that has now since gone viral happening in Massillon uh, is leading to a pretty funny exchange, or led to a pretty funny exchange uh, between police and a woman. Uh, so this happened last week, last Thursday, like I said. Uh, basically, what had happened was a woman was going to her uh, get her hair cut. Uh, she took her wig off, threw it in her trunk, <coughs> slammed the trunk, and went inside to get her haircut. Didn't think anything of it. Got back in her car, was driving from Akron to Maslin, uh, stopping at Dairy Queen, getting groceries, things like that. And people kept giving her weird looks and she has no idea why. She gets home and 10 minutes later, the cops arrive at her home. Uh, turns out people thought that there was a body in her trunk, uh, not just a wig and you know her own hair basically. Uh, and the interaction then ensues I want to play it for you now, and then we actually have an interview with the woman uh, who, who was involved in this. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, Jesus. The craziest thing you're not going to believe. What happened? So we got a call. Somebody's concerned. Are you like a hairstylist? No. Oh, I can make some chicken strips. Sorry, my best friend, chicken strips. I can't tell so you. Okay. So there's like hair hanging out of your tongue? Oh my Jesus! Someone's like. Oh, that's my weave! Oh, hold on. That's my wig. Hold on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 you gotta come see it though. <laughs> oh my Jesus! I got. You gotta see it though. Oh Jesus! I absolutely love the interaction here. And then this is what it looked like. So you can kind of understand why somebody would potentially call the police on this. Uh, so we spoke with this woman earlier today about this and about what she kind of uh, sees from it. She said that she posted the interaction online because she wants to show people that, you know, it's not a... Uh not all bad when you have an interaction with police. All right, here's our conversation. Let's uh, let's just start off here by that day itself. All right, uh, what exactly happened that day? It was a day like any other, I'm guessing. Kind of go through what what was going on. Okay, so that day, okay, I that day was a hot flame of mess day. Okay, let's just say that. Okay. So I was late to my hair appointment. So remind you, I had my wig going. I was late to my hair appointment, and when I finally got there. I was so late, I just threw my wig in the trunk, not paying attention, okay? Remind you, the problem was, I didn't look back to see where my wig landed, okay? So after I got my hair done, I'm not thinking about no type of wig. I'm not thinking about a wig or anything. So remind you, I live 45 minutes away from where I get my hair done. So I am driving from Akron to Maslin with my wig hanging out, okay? So I go, I went to a Dairy Queen, I went running errands, and I'm wondering why people kept mugging me. And you know, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, well, hi, well, hello to you. I'm like, it's Thursday, why am I upset today? So I said, okay, whatever. So now, within 10 minutes, I get home, I hear a ring at my doorbell, it was a police officer. Now, remind you, I'm like, what in the world is going on? What's, what happened? So I go out there, he said, hey, the craziest thing, you, you may hurt. I'm like, what? what you, what's going on? You know, what's the craziest thing? He said, are you a hairstylist? I'm like, no. I said, well, I'm sorry. I'm like, hold on. I'm sorry. My breasts are like chicken strips right now. I just had some chicken strips. <laughs> he said, no, it's okay. It's fine. Well, he said, well, you have some hair coming out the trunk. And that's when it clicked to me like, wait, that's my wig. That's my wig. I Oh, I was in such a rush that day. I forgot that I left my wig in the trunk and did not even pay attention to where it landed at. So, yes. The uh, you know the photo that you see after. It, it, I mean, you know, as an unbiased spectator, it does look like there could be something going on there. You can potentially understand exactly. why people would think that, right? Yes, yes. So it's no hard feelings. I, I'm glad whoever called called because you never know, but. It, fortunately, it was a wig. <laughs>
so caught on your ring camera, uh, you, you'd mentioned you, you reached out, you kind of said, hey, this has been, you know, kind of blowing up here for me. Uh, yeah. Pretty comedic outcome here, but the interaction I think is really interesting because your reaction is hilarious and then the one officer starts laughing as well. I mean, talk a little yeah. bit about the interaction that you did have with those oh, officers. One but, okay, so all the officers there were extremely nice. They all were laughing. You know, one was trying to hold his composure because he's like, okay, a wig. But the interaction was great. You know, he made me feel comfortable. Like, honestly, it could have been, you know, horrible, a horrible outcome. But, you know, he asked, he, he asked, hey, are you a, a hairstylist? He didn't sue. And dude, him and I was, you know, laughing, had a good time with this joke of the wig. <laughs> but it was a great, it was, it was a great outcome with everyone. Even the um, other officers that you may not see in the video, they were laughing. <laughs> they was laughing so hard. You don't see, you typically see the bad, right? You see all the terrible interactions <laughs> and, and things like that. Yeah, keep, go, go, uh, you can take it from there, yeah. Oh, yeah, so usually you see, you know, not good outcome when it comes to a person with color or an officer. And when you finally see something that's good, and when it comes to laughter, and it's, and it's just a wig, it's funny, you know? And you're both interacting, laughing, and, you know, having a good time, knowing, you know, glad that nothing bad, nothing was, was what they thought it was supposed to be. But it was all laughter, and you see two people getting along. And you don't really see that. A police officer and a person with color, you don't see that often. And I'm just glad that it went viral, that people were able to see, hey, there are good cops out here, you know? Yeah. So. Let's talk about that. So yeah, since then, uh, when did this initially happen? When was the, the first time? This happened? happened on Thursday. Of okay. Last Thursday. Yes. What has this been like since then? When I say so many people came up to me, messaged me on Facebook, said, Tori, you're hilarious. I love seeing the interaction with you and the, um, the officer. You don't really see that. Both of you two were just, you guys did so well. I'm like, well, I'm not acting. This is serious. <laughs> this is a serious matter. Like, this is, this is for real. But everyone came up to me, messaged me and saying, like, Tori, this is, like, hilarious. This was, a, this was really a good like, laughter for everyone, especially you don't really see good videos like this. I think that's the thing. It's it's you know it's the fact that you watch this and it's the the, the mutual hilarity of it is felt, and it's just yes. people interacting. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's people interacting and it's all laughter. You know, you don't really see that often. I guess the life lessons now. What have you learned from this uh, for the future you know, for make, you? Make sure if you go place your wig in the trunk. Make sure you look back and see it if it laid correctly, <laughs> landed correctly. Excuse me, because you never know. <laughs> Yeah, just a pretty crazy situation there. You can see the photo uh, again showing the the wig that was locked in the car sticking out of the back there. Uh, let's play for you one more time this footage from the ring camera again so you can kind of see the interaction and she's a great sport about this whole thing. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Jesus. The craziest thing you're not going to believe. What happened? So we got a call. Somebody's concerned. Are you like a hairstylist? No. I can take some chicken strips. Sorry, my best friend, chicken strips. I can't sell so you. Okay. So there's like hair hanging out of your thumb? Oh my Jesus. Someone's like. Oh, that's my wig. Oh, hold on. That's my wig. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh. You gotta come see it though. <laughs> oh my Jesus! I got. You gotta see it though. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! So yeah, uh, very insane story there. Glad that everything ended the way that it did. All right, that is all we got for you here for this digital stream. Much more to come, both on air and online, and of course our 19 news at 7:30 starting over on the CW in eight minutes. Nineteen News, now streaming on Samsung Smart TV. Search for channel 1035.